right. right? What is the nature of dark matter? Is there life on Mars? And I can say, you know, we've had a lot of private space companies and, and individuals, they're, they've been happy to send themselves into space and they've been, you know, or, or small, you know, tourism in various ways. And they built rockets and they built a lot of things, but there's no one of them, not a single one of them, has ever built a science mission with that money. Not, not a single one of those companies has ever decided to just go and figure something out because it's not even, it's not their fault. That's just the wrong incentives, right? Well, they have investors and they need a return. That's exactly right. Yeah. And so you, along this line, Casey, you have talked about guys who built telescopes mm -hmm. in the early, early days. Built telescopes. Space in exploration the, before we had rockets, just, right? It's just <laughs> a, a little digression there, sure. if you would. So in the United States, we didn't have public funding of science basically until after World War II. Because science turned, or technology turned out to be so valuable in winning a war. Yeah, I mean, it turns yeah. out, oh, there's actually like a, 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 Radar a fundamental, good. yeah, yeah. And, or the nuclear bomb or any number of things. And rockets themselves, right? Yeah, dual rockets use, themselves. Dual use technology. Yeah. Um, but before that, it just wasn't seen as a responsibility of public investment to do, it was private sector responsibility to do uh, scientific research. And that works up to a point, but. 